This is Hope 106.5, the channel that brings you real stories, current happenings, and good music. Hope 106.5, keep us as your favorite station always. always. All of life is a constant education. True education does not consist merely of acquiring knowledge, but in the development of character. Education is a lifelong process. It's more than ABC. Hi, Kenji. Hi, Fan. Hi everyone. It's my honor and privilege to have you on my show. <laughs> and today we'll be talking about paying it forward. So Kenji, what comes to your mind when you hear this phrase "pay it forward"? Okay, as for me, uh, as for people in Christ, pay forward in my opinion is doing little acts of kindness to others. Well, wherever we are and wherever we do, just like how Jesus died for us. On the cross, paying first for our sins so that we can be forgiven. It means going that extra mile to love people, love one another. Yeah, that's what I mean. Pay forwards mm, in my okay. first thoughts. Yeah. So for you, it means you are paying it to others, spreading the kindness to the people around you yes. through little actions. Yes. Hmm. Can you give an example of what are the little actions that you do to spread the kindness around? Okay, just for example, like in internet or website or Facebook, everything like my friend they have launched out their companies and asked us to like like the page and share the page. I will try to share, yeah, so a little kind of because to help them advertise it by a friendship by helping up, or maybe like all those like people walk past they ask for donation after I reading the paper they give. Me Give, uh, they provide me that they are actually uh, stated that are uh, from governments or for helping hands from different type of like um, organizations, organizations mm. and I will actually do uh, the the little things that I can. Mm. Yeah. So the things you can do to give and to love people around you will try to do. Yes, I will. I will do and try to do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and lastly, just help all my. My friends, people that they need job, I'll try to find job for them. Mm. Yeah, that's very nice. And I think pay it forward is to spread the kindness. I think each of us can make a difference by doing little things like what Kenji has said to spread the kindness, to spread the love around. To you, it may be a little thing, but to others, it can really make the person's day. And it can even bring a smile to the person's face. So, Kenji, I'm just curious. I think we have all changed over the years. I mean, everybody changed. I mean, we grow and we mature. So, what kind of person do you think you were previously and currently? Oh, I just can say, oh my God, when I was young. <laughs> yeah, because I was a very rebellious and immature teenager. Yeah, I met with the bad companies and did all sorts of wrong things and do all those like very funny. And I wanted to have fun day in, day out. I went through my life with all I think is materialistic. Yeah. Life was just like uh, substations. It's no meaning for me and things to a turn in when I when I know get to know God because at a point of time yeah, all is different. Can you share briefly how do you get to know God? Okay. I get to know God when I was fourteen by my cousin Jackson. He bring me to church. So at the point of time that's my first time to know God with a group of friends. Yeah, when I was fourteen. So did you attend church regularly after that? No, after that I uh, actually not. After that, I for a while I changed to the other church to like a, a bigger church at Bar Leba mm, with a group of friends. I then uh, for around six months I fall back again. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's take a break and listen to this song by Jewel, "Standing Still," and we'll be back in a short while. Stay tuned.
There's a dead end to my left. There's a burning bush to my right. You aren't in sight. You aren't in sight. Really made you go back to church and really served and loved the Lord. Okay, that's the most crucial part already. I would yeah. really want to share. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the important parts that I need to share. How I get to know God. I get to know Jesus when I was in in prison. Yeah, serving my second sentence, seven years. Right. Really. Mm, in seven years, I attended a lot of like a uh, service. Three to four times, like from Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Somehow, maybe one of the day got two service. Mm. You mean church service, right? Yeah, Christian okay. service, church mm. service in prisons. Mm. Yeah, different or uh, different denominations. Okay. Uh, all is Christian service. Okay. Mm. And different dialect as well. Yeah. So over there, over there, I I really put everything to God. I let go everything. Because at the point of time, I got a lot of personal issues, troubles, thought, stressness, <laughs> sadness, and um, don't have, don't have goal in future. And by attending service, he gave me the strength. He recharged me. Uh, the the ideas in my mind changed my mind, changed my life, changed everything. Mm. So after. I get to know God is when I am second imprisonments because in service I learn a lot of things in life that life is more than what we do now only. At the time being, a lot of troubles occurred. Yeah, I can't solve that because I can't come out. I can't talk to the people that I want to solve the problem with. Everything I leave to God, and after that I pray. I so stressful. I pray. I pray. And God, give me a strength and renew, renewed my heart, and give me a new heart, really. <laughs> and at the point of time, everything changed. When I attending a service, I become a worship team members. I become a choir. I even actually uh perform not perform a lead, a uh, singing in prison too for a period of time, and in the and in serving. In the service, I learned a lot of things that everyone play a part in the service, like the singer, the projector, 
the people who need to uh, frame and lick the words by the counselor, the pastor, everyone have their part. Yeah, then I uh, serving in church, everything uh, provide me because like for in service, everyone, every group members need to play a part. So the service will uh, organize properly because it's just like a branch of a tree, right? You need the root, the branches, the the trunk, everything to make the leaf, leaf. You know, mm. it's just like the same. So everyone plays a part in that. So I learned a lot of th- a different type of disciplines. <laughs> like everyone in life play a part. And as for I understand that I know get to know Jesus is the part of my life. Mm. And I let go of everything he helped me in certain ways that yeah, he provide me the peacefulness, the shalom in me. When I rest, I sleep, I I will be blessed because my mind re- renew when I was sleep. Mm. Yeah, my thought all change, my vulgarity change, my character improve. Even now, I still improving, and a lot of thing is different. When you live, when I get to know God, everything change. My family be happier too. Yeah. That's that's how I came to know God when I was in second imprisonments. Mm. Yeah. Pertaining to my previous question, so what kind of person do you think you were previously and currently? Okay. Previously I am actually I was very rebellious and immature teenagers. Yeah. And now I've, and now yes. Now all things are really is true God God grace really. Everything changed. And uh, now for sure, I, I I have a different mindset in life. I become better in many ways that whoever know me when I was in the past. I truly love my life now because my I can have my I can have my passion, my dreams, my goal. Mm. Really. Being someone who is rebellious, you always think of yourself first. You are more self-centered. But you talk about now, in the beginning of this episode, you were talking about you want to give more to people around you through little actions, whatever you can do to help your friends, the people around. So it is not me-centered anymore. It's more of other people-centered. So I think that is the big change in you I've seen through what you have told me. So what do you think the society nowadays lack? Or rather, how do you think the society has changed these 10 years? I can share my thoughts with you because mm. like nowadays kids are very blessed and yeah. we are provided for so much. Mm. Then they take for granted many things in life. I find that they have become less ap- appreciative mm. of what they have. For example, in the past, people were like us, were contented with what they have and were happy to be able to hold a job. These days, many are not willing to start a, a job from like ground, from zero. They will want high paying because with qualification, yeah, high paying jobs. And it's the short of like a uh, manager. Mm. Positions yes. uh, I think so <laughs> Yes I believe that uh, That's why <laughs> mm. Because many look to That different role models mm. Mostly from the television And social medias yes. Yeah And get all the wrong concept And those who belong To the high societies Yeah This change might have reasons For like Nowadays Military pursuits mm. mm, Parents have no time For their kids For example and kids look for alternative outlet of role models mm. <laughs> and to get attention to. Yeah. yeah, that's what it means nowadays, okay. these 10 years. Mm. So if you would like to make a difference in society, what would it be? I recently I learned the word, okay? Let God be God by a pastor, mm. okay? I believe God will provide, I believe. I feel me, I believe God will provide. I hope to be a role model in society, mm. touch lives mm. and impact people to try to be better mm. in, in all form like various way, in mm. good way. Mm. Yeah. And I hope to shift society values from pursuing like monetary pursuits. Parents have no time for their kids. Mm. And kids look for alternative outlets. Uh, and I, I hope to shift society values from pursuing maternity 
one status to one that values family ties and relationships, and even like spirituality and health too. Because for family ties, spiritualities, and health is very important.、Mm. I believe I can put impact in it. Let's take a break. This is a song by Fun. Why am I the one? Enjoy. I got enough on my mind that when she pulls me by the hair, she hasn't much to hold on to. She keeping count on her hand. One, two, three days that I've been sleeping on my side. I finished kissing my dad, so now I head back up the stairs, thinking about where I've been. I mean, the sun was never like this. I wanna feel with the season. I guess it makes sense 'cause my life's become as rapid as a night out in. Los Angeles, and I just wanna stay in bed and hold you like I used to. You know that I am home. So, darling, if you love me, would you let me know? Or go on, go on, go on. If you were thinking that the worst is yet to come, why am I? Kenji, can you share、uh, what kind of touching lives you were talking about just now? Okay,、um, the mission that I, I'm in, actually, I'm in a century of grace. Okay,、um, we are actually outreach to all those like、uh, troubles youth,、uh, and all those like、uh, underage mothers.、Mm. Yeah, because by helping them in various form that. Showing them care,、um, provide them a helping years, 
and get them a job. It's very important for them. You mean providing them with a listening ear? A listening ear. A listening ear, yes. Mm. And a home too. Because uh, Century of Grace is a home by uh, Pastor Andrew. Uh, he, he is my mentor and he is an AG home founder. Oh, Century of Grace is a home. Yeah, it's a home. I see, it's for, home for, for those who uh, are parents, in need. In need, yeah. For mostly all those that are young pregnancy mothers, okay. they don't have home to go to. Their, their loved one don't want them. Okay. So they stay with pastor. So it's mainly for unwed mothers. Yes. I see. Okay. Okay. And other than that, um, my mission actually will provide job for them. I helping pastor Darren in uh, Life United Church to find uh, some worker for his for his companies. Mm. I helping a lot of people to find job because the pastor they entrust they entrust the, the trust to me. Yes. So I will do my job and help them to find a bit, bit find those people that are able to work mm. because. Like in our mission, a lot of things will be happens. At some time, we intro job to friends. Then things happen. The your friend will blame you. Mm. Yeah, and a lot of things like we can't control at the time because beforehand we know the person is good, mm. but after that something happen. Maybe he short of needs or money, and he go and do something and. Yeah, create some troubles there. Then we need to go and answer for it. Mm. And sometimes we we only can answer. We can help more than that mm. because, as as we can do right, it's our mission. Okay. We handle it properly in the proper way in the legal ways. Yeah. So whatever thing we can do is just that like is like helping people to find a job, giving them spiritual need, counsel them. Share, give, provide them listening ears. For all those like lazy, uh, we will pro- so, uh, 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 pressing mothers, we will provide them the home to stay. Mm. And yeah, all is provided by like, various of pastors. Their help, like Century of Grace, Teen Challenge, all sorts of like Christian organizations. Mm. Uh, mm. It depends mm. really what type of need you can. And I will try to look for them, help them to find. And yes, what you have mentioned is exactly the actions that you have done to pay it forward, to help people, to touch lives of people. So pay it forward is something which I think all of us can do. It can yes. be little actions of even opening a door for someone behind you. Just little kind deeds like that. And you will make the society, the whole world, a better place to be in. So thank you, Kenji, for sharing. And the next song I'm playing will be God is Able by Planet Shakers. Yes, God is able. So whatever problems or challenges that you're facing today, God is able. Trust and look up to Him.
Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in to Hope 106.5 and I'll see you next week. Seeing the invisible, feeling the intangible, and achieving the impossible. Hope 106.5